find integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx. So, here we have to find value of this integral, integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. Note that here we have a definite integral and we are going to find value of this integral by purely using the properties of definite integral. Okay. So, at first take i equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx. Okay. Next, next we are using the properties of definite integral to rewrite our i as that is integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Using this property, we are rewriting integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dx as integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin pi by 2 minus x dx. What is sin pi by 2 minus x? That is integral 0 to pi by 2 log cos x dx. Okay. That is the pi by 2 minus x will give cos x. So, by using the trigonometric function, properties of trigonometric function, we can write sine of pi by 2 minus x is log cos x dx, integral 0 to pi by 2 log cos x dx and which is also equal to the value i. So, in the next step, Note that sine 2x equal to 2 sin x cos x. Okay. Now, we can rewrite log sine 2x as log of 2 sin x cos x, which is equal to log 2 plus log sin x plus log cos x. Okay. That is log ab equal to log a plus log b. Using that property, we can rewrite log sin 2x as log 2 plus log sin x plus log cos x. Now we are rewriting integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2x dx as integral 0 to pi by 2 log 2 dx plus integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx plus integral 0 to pi by 2 log cos x dx. So, what we have to find? We have to find the value of this integral that is integral 0 to pi by 2 log of sin x dA. Okay. So, in the next step, we can rewrite integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x dx equal to. Now, what is log 2? Log 2 Sorry, integral 0 to pi by 2 log 2. On taking log 2 outside, we will get integral 0 to pi by 2 dx. Okay, what is this? x from the limit at the value of integral 0 to pi by 2 dx equal to x from limit 0 to pi by 2. Okay, now what is this? This is i and again this is i by using 1 and 2. Okay, so we can rewrite integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x dx as pi by 2 log 2 that is pi by 2 minus 0 will give pi by 2 log 2 plus i plus i gives 2i. So, what we have to find? We have to find value of i here. So, in order to get i, we, we have to find what is the value of this integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2x dx. Okay, then we can easily find the value of i. i equal to our required integral. So, we get pi by 2 log 2 here that is fine plus 2i here that is also fine but we have to find what is this value. In order to find the value of this i, so for that take integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin 2x dx equal to that is, we are taking 2x equal to t. Okay, then what we will get? Differentiating with respect to x, we will get dx equal to dt by 2. That is, dx equal to 2dx equal to dt, then dx equal to dt by 2. Now, 
here we get log sin t into dt by 2 now what about limit that is here we have limit from 0 to pi by 2 when x equal to 0 what is the value of t t equal to 0 x equal to pi by 2 then t equal to 2 into pi by 2 that is x equal to pi by 2 2 into pi by 2 will give pi so our limit will becomes integral 0 to pi log sin t into dt by 2 on taking 2 outside we will get 2 by 2 into integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin t dt okay where from where we get this pi by 2 that is by using the properties of definite integral again we can rewrite that is this is a property that is integral 0 to 2a f of x dx equal to 0 if f of 2 minus 2a minus x equal to negative of f of x integral 0 to 2a f of x dx equal to 2 into integral 0 to a f of x ds if f of 2a minus x equal to f of x what about here here we have a pi that is integral 0 to 2 a f of x dx equal to 2 into integral 0 to a f of x dx so here we have a pi here we can take that pi as 2 a now what about this f of 2 a minus x equal to that is f of sine pi minus x equal to what is sine pi minus x that is sine x itself so we get f of 2a minus x equal to f of x so what we can rewrite that is integral 0 to pi sin t into dt by 2 can be rewritten as 2 into integral that is f of 2a minus x equal to f of x then 2 into integral 0 to a that is 2a equal to pi then a equal to pi by 2 into log sin t dt okay that is f of x dx what is f of x here sin t then 2 into 0 to a f of x dx that is 2 into 0 to pi by 2 log sin t dt in the next step you can rewrite integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x dx equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin t dt that is this 2 and 2 get cancel each other which is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x dx that is by using the property integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of t dt what this imply if we change the variable x into t that will make no change in the value of integral so we again we get integral 0 to pi by 2 sin 2x dx equal to i itself okay so by using that we can rewrite i equal to pi by 2 log 2 plus 2i now taking i to the right hand side and pi by 2 log to the left hand side we will get 2i minus i which is i equal to negative pi by 2 log 2. So what we get integral 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx equal to minus pi by 2 log 2 which is the required result okay.